Well, for all the mums out there who've ever breastfed in public, this should be your anthem. Those new mothers are exhibitionists. If you can say that at breakfast TV, I think we got away with it just. And joining us now are best friends Catherine Crowley and Juliet Moody, the superstar musicians behind that very clever song. Good morning to you, ladies. Good morning, Good morning Lisa. Lisa. Um, first question is, what inspired you to write the song? But I think I know, but Juliet, you're a mum. I'll start with you. Yes, yeah, so I'm a mum of four and uh, breastfeeding all my babies. I, I, I loved breastfeeding, but I did find a little bit anxious breastfeeding in public and after breastfeeding my fourth baby and having an episode in a cafe where, where a young man was a little bit uh, disgruntled about me breastfeeding. What did he do? Uh, he was he, he sort of made some comment under his breath and he rolled his eyes and as I walked away I thought it's as if I've ruined his day like I couldn't quite understand what the issue was and uh, like any musician, I went home and, and started to write this song. And it, it was started as kind of kind of a very serious song about breastfeeding. And then I thought Sparrow Folk, our, our um, duo, is all about bringing joy. And I thought this this is an us. So it turned into this uh, moment where I'm sitting at my kitchen bench, singing "Ruin Your Day, Ruin Your Day with Tits," and uh, and it just it grew. From Which there. becomes "Ruin Your Day with Chips." When we're or knits, if, if when you're doing breakf that's breakfast right. TV, <laughs> that, well, that's when, right. that, when that happens. That's right. So you turn to Catherine. You're not a mum at this stage, but no. you've obviously watched closely and, and yeah, seen right. the sort yeah, of response. Yeah. What yeah. feedback have you had to the song? Oh, great feedback, actually. I don't think we've had one negative word against it. No, um, I think it's. Um, I think by bringing comedy into situations that sometimes have had a lot of heat or, or they've been contentious, I think it's actually made people step back and think this is actually a funny yeah you can think about it a bit more when it's funny rather than like a hardcore metal song on the ukulele <laughs> the, the funny thing about this i mean i made a joke about using that word on breakfast tv but somehow you do make it funny because that's the thing that they're a part of a woman's body that have such different functions depending on who's viewing them exactly. at the time and we as women who own these things have to work out at what point we are at at any moment of the day and what function they're going to exactly. perform. Exactly, and it's, it's half of the population have them, the other, most of the other half like them. So, and I think, I think for me it was that idea of, uh, I, I found it really difficult sometimes leaving the house after having a baby, dealing with all my new lumps and bumps and stretch marks, and I thought the idea that people would think I was out there trying to draw attention to my body was crazy. Yeah, <laughs> crazy. Now you guys are going to the Adelaide Adelaide uh, Fringe we Festival. We are ruining oh. the fringe with tits, yeah. Are you really? <laughs> we are. I've got a funny feeling that uh, as we speak, people are going online trying to work out how to see what the Adelaide Fringe Festival. Um, so when, when is that? Uh, that is in March, 4th to 16th. 16th. Yeah, so we're in Fantastic. the second half of the fringe. Yeah. Okay, and they should look out for Sparrow Folk. That's right. Yes. Nested Confessions is our show. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Fabulous stuff. Okay, would you like to play over to Carl? Just a quick little... Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, ladies. Great stuff. And it is... Uh, bravo. It is great to be Australian.